Commercial Distributed Control Systems Part 6 In this part, the basic units of a digital computer, its timing and operator interface are going to be discussed. The basic units of a digital computer the digital computer used in DCS systems is a regular microcomputer with the simplified components shown in the figure in next slide. It includes the arithmetic unit which carry out arithmetic and logic commands. A general purpose digital computer. The control unit is the part of the computer responsible for reading program statements from memory, interpreting them and causing the appropriate action to take place. Memory unit is used for storing data and programs. Typical computers have random access memory, RAM and read-only memory, ROM. Request It is hoped that this session is going to be useful to you. Please press like, please subscribe. Input Output Interface The Input Output Interface is necessary for the computer to communicate with the external world. This interface is the most important in the control implementation. The process information is fed to the computer through the input-output interface and the commands made by the computer are sent to the final control element through the input-output interface. In control application, the design of the input-output devices and interface is an important part of the overall digital control philosophy. Timing The control computer must be able to keep track of time, that is real time order to be able to initiate data acquisition operations and calculate control outputs or to initiate supervisory optimization on a desired schedule. Hence all control computers will contain at least one hardware timing device. The so-called real-time clock represents one technique. This device is nothing more than a pulse generator that interrupts the computer on a periodic basis and identifies itself as interrupting device. Operator Interface The operator interface is generally a terminal upon which the operator can communicate with the system. Such terminals usually permit displaying graphical information. Often these display consoles are 
color terminals for better visibility and recognition of key variables the operator will use the keyboard portion of the terminal to perform specific tasks for example the operator can type in request for information on displaying trends changing controller parameters or set points adding new control loop and so on next lecture the name of the next lecture is commercial distributed control systems part 7 in the next and subsequent lectures important aspects regarding dcs systems shall be discussed it is hope that this session was useful to you please press like please subscribe